All right, I also just want to make sure that my backend works. So um, I know we have some issues before, but that's because it, everything was not ready to be set up with how we send the, uh, the data and so on. So through just browsers, we'll make it go like it does here. But I'm going to start it. So <clears throat> make sure, again, you're in the correct library, in this case, backend. And I'm going to do my npm start. So it should start and work up so we can see we have everything working here. So that's not the issue. But I want to test these routes here to make sure that it works, that it's connected to the database, that we don't have any issues and so on. So if I go to Google, Google, if I go to the online Mongo here, you can see mine right now, my, my first database is empty. I have a collection called uh, to do. So if yours is empty here, you can either create it and type it in here and then do those things or wait until we do the first post where we'll do it through a different program. Now there's two ways I know of uh, or that I use, well, I use one of them. One of them is this program called Postman, which is helpful for testing these routes or APIs and so on. So data, if everything works as they intended before we actually start creating the front end. So we can do a test to see if everything is correct before we actually do the front end. If you don't like, the postman or you want to use something else that's fine and um, there is something in visual studio code if you do a extension called thunder let's say thunder client or like, i don't know which one of these are but this is a helpful tool for those who just want to have everything inside visual studio code so you can install this and then you can do the the, the calls inside of this program instead of having an extra external program like i do now but i'm using postman because i like it um, and also this postman doesn't really, it has an issue with mine, so it doesn't work as it's supposed to, I think. <clears throat> but I'm gonna check. So here it's empty. I have a folder called to do's with an S, it's important. And inside my, I already did a test as you can see, but I'm just gonna do a quick one again, <clears throat> sorry. And how this works is basically, well, it stores all your previous calls as you can see up here as well. So I'm just gonna reuse some of them. But I'm going to, what I'm going to is I want to use localhost 3000 because again, this is what we set up in our app, right? So we're listening to port 3000. This is where we set up our, uh, our, our backend here. And so we need to make sure this is the same. So localhost 3000 and then slash to do's because this is our route, right? So we have one here that's nothing. And then we have one here that says slash to do which is where all our routes is located. So we need to use these to have everything working. So again, if we create more, you need to test more, make sure that you of course do the correct things up here. So right now I'm doing a send and I get nothing, right? It's an empty array because we get no data. That's because our database here is empty. So I'm gonna do one here, click, and I'm gonna insert a document and I'm gonna do author test and I'm gonna do to do more test, right? So insert, and this should have it here. So now we can see it here, it says an ID and everything. If I go back to Postman again, I click send, and I click, again, it's on get. Um, so we can see we now have this information. So I know at least now, because this is running through my backend API, <clears throat> this won't work if I stop my server now. So this is running through, I'm doing this locally, sending the information, requesting this from the online repository or online MongoDB, the Atlas server and I'm receiving this from it. So I know this works, which is good. Now, if I wanna add one, so let's say I wanna add one to my to-dos, right? So I don't wanna do one myself. I have some routes set up in here, so that's why I just marked that in, in this one. So I wanna do a new, whoops, a new one. This, which we have here, right? So router.post slash new. And this is the reason I have this instead of actually this one up here, because then I'll send into an empty one. This could work still, but it will just be empty. So for now, I'm gonna send in Flanders, go to Canada, right? And I'm gonna do this by using the slash new. And oh, I'll show you this. So I'm gonna do slash new and I'm gonna get an error because when I click it, it just goes here and this is not what I'm expecting, right? I'm expecting to see the object with this that contains Flanders and go to Canada. And if I go back here, you can see the method for getting all information uh, for the to-dos, which is this one up here, right? Is dot get, which is what I have here, dot get. 
but here I'm using a dot post. So I want to post something to it. So I need to switch my method in here to the correct one. And this one is still correctly because I want to use new, which is this one here. So this should, when I click this, present me with the, uh, the object with all this information in here. And if I go back to my Mongo and refresh it because it doesn't does that, do that itself, I should now have these three things, well, two things, not three things. So I know that this one also works. Now the next one I have is, what is in here? I have a getter by ID. So I can do get, get, let's so go back. We switch this back to get, and instead of news, we do get slash, and then an ID, right? So we need to go find an ID. We can do this here. So if I only want to get the ID, which is this one here, this is the one that says Flanders go to, goes to Canada. So if I paste this in here and click send, I get an error, which is weird. So let's see the console log to see if we can figure out the errors. Uh, no. So we get an issue when we're trying to do the to do here, right? That is giving me something with my server. All right, let's go to this one. Let's see if we can figure something out here. So our issue is, it seems to be in to do line 27, which is here. So this line has an issue. So it doesn't really know what the ID is here. So this is undefined. So this is undefined. Why is this undefined? This is because I'm passing them incorrectly. So up here, you can see I'm doing rec first, rec required first, and then rest as the other one. And I'm doing it the opposite way here. So I'm gonna switch this to rec, rest. Have I made this error more places? I have it here as well. I have it multiple places, so. Eh. Figure this out before we went too far. Rec, rest, is it more? There's no more. Rec, 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 rec. So, cool. So let's try this, save. And let's go back here and fire this again. Click save. And now we get it. So now you can see I'm only returning the one with this specific ID and not both of them. So there's two in my here, but I'm only returning the one I want. And again, so as you can see, now I actually use Postman and it helped me locate an error before I went into actually doing the view application, right? So if I was started doing view application, I could be in there for use hours to try to figure something out. Why doesn't this work? And then it was actually nothing to do with the front end. It was a back end issue, right? Because I'm only testing parts of it. Cool. So that's get. Now let's try a delete instead. So we want to delete the one with, where, which one are we doing? Uh, the one with Flanders, right? So stealing this, well, I don't need to steal anyway. So this ID, this is what I want to test here. So I already did the reverse here with rec first and rest at the end, response at the end. So I'm going to use delete and that's, that's the method. And I'm going to use delete slash the number instead. So I'm going to switch get to delete. And up here as well, make sure you have delete, push this in, send, and that will hopefully, when we do a, we can just go back to, we can go here to test, refresh, that's one way of doing it. Now it should only be one. Yes. Or we can use postman to go back to a get all or just slash new. No, not slash new, uh, slash to do's. Like so. And see that we only have this one here. So that's, that works now. So we have our, uh, we have our, what was the first one? We tested our new, we tested our get everything, get one specific one and a delete. So let's also test the update one, right? So let's go back to this and instead of, where did the delete one go? I'm gonna steal this one. I don't actually. So instead of delete, I wanna do update slash and then a number. So I'm gonna go in here, see what the number is. This is my online Mongo. So this one, copy this, go back to my postman slash the number, oops slash this new number or ID. And I don't want to do a delete now because I want it to update, right? So I'm going to use putch, putch, put, a uh, patch is, I don't know if you know what the difference is. There's probably a difference, but I'm going to use put since that the, that's the method I actually set in here. Put and also the method I accepted up here, right? 
So this is now connected to each other with the cores here. So if I were to use patch, I would have to add it in here. Patch like so. Oops. Yeah, well, you know what I'm talking And then do it correctly, right? Not like me. Um, and hopefully now when we do an update, what is it going to update to? Let's just make sure. So it's the same. So Barton Scaling is what it's supposed to be updating to. So send. Let's see if we have an error. Let's go in and check and refresh. And hopefully it says BART and skating. So now we tested all our routes with Postman, making sure and also locating some errors because I made a boo-boo, uh, which you also have to fix in yours as well. So even though we had this, these issues up here, that's because we can't use the browser to do these calls. So I can't just take this and put it into a browser. That will crash or not crash it it will make it not work uh, because we need it needs to be recognized as a like a middleware right um, you can do some of the things you can do get in through a, a http uh, through a browser but you can't do these upload and so on and so on uh, put sorry so you have to use postman or thunder or something like this but now we made sure that our all our routing is working and now we're ready to start moving into the view application and connecting everything now